Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is a thrift haul. I stopped at a Goodwill for about three and a half hours when I was driving through LA recently and I found some good stuff. Now my average cost of goods for this trip was about $5.75 per item, which is definitely high for me. Typically I range between four to $5 per item, but there weren't any sales that day. I think there were a couple items that were 50% off and a couple items that were 25% off, but a lot of them I paid full price for because I thought it was worth it. There's my dog Luna giving a stretch <laughs> and she's probably about going back to bed. But I thought I would share. So if you are interested in content around Poshmark and eBay, specifically around women's clothing, which is kind of what I uh, tend to focus on, definitely feel free to hit the subscribe button down below. And if you like these thrift hauls, as always hit the thumbs up, let me know, I always appreciate it. So, all right, I did bring my computer in case I wanna look up some uh, approximate uh, prices that I think I might be able to get for it because I can't remember. I listed these a, about a week ago and I'm finally getting around to doing the haul. Also, one item already sold, I'll be sure to point that out. And it was actually to someone who watches this channel. So um, yeah. All right, this first one is a new designer to me. Uh, it's just a gray full zip jacket. It has some really nice zipper accents on the sleeve. It's fairly simple, but the designer is uh, Oliver. Oliver Thayskins. Now I thought this was actually related to Theory. So Theory is a pretty expensive brand. It doesn't have the strongest resale for me for a lot of the items I pick up. Uh, but I have picked up Theory, I think it's Thayskins, um, I, a couple of those items and it is in the same family. I don't know if this is connected, but the style of this designer, I want to say it kind of has this avant-garde vibe, very like city, urban, trendy. Um, so this doesn't look like it's too exciting, but it's definitely on point with a lot of the styles that I saw. Um, a lot of the items were, you know, in the hundreds as far as value and retail. The resale value was a little inconsistent. I started this at 99. Um, I can't remember the size on this. It's a size 44. Uh, it's made in Italy. And I want to say that translated to a large, but it's definitely smaller. Like I think maybe if it was open or if you didn't really have too much of a chest, but it's a little, I mean, it's cropped. I don't know. Designer items tend to run a little bit smaller. So anyways, I was excited to pick up something new and we'll see how that one does. I'm not, I'm not sure, but I think it's a cute style. All right. This is another designer I picked up once before, Broshu Walker. And I know that other items sold. Comps are also inconsistent, but this is a, some people really follow this designer and like the look. This is kind of a peasant blouse. It's kind of a, yeah, I mean, it's kind of a, a light pink. It almost like has a, I don't know, pinkish tan color, if that makes sense. I'm not sure what it's picking up in the camera, but it's got some embroidery. It's got some embroidery on the back. And then obviously the little keyhole front. So I thought this was really adorable, especially for spring and summer coming. It's casual, but I'm sure you could actually just put this with a really cute pair of jeans and some heels and wear this out as well. So, uh, and then this was a size small. Comps for something like this, I'm expecting probably in that 30 to 35 range. All right, this is a pair of unusual shorts. Uh, so they've got kind of a fold over waist. It's got a belt a denim belt that goes with it and then it has the button fly it's high rise the brand is iro jeans and it was a size 38 i want to say that was a size four if i remember correctly off the size chart but i really like the gray color um and i couldn't i could find this exact style i couldn't find any that had sold on ebay or poshmark so i aimed a little bit high i think i priced this i started at 69 hoping somewhere around that 50 mark because it is just a very trendy style and spring and summer are coming up pretty quickly. So yeah, I thought that was really cute. All right, this is the one that sold. I'll just grab this. So I know someone left a comment because I picked up equipment in I think my last haul and someone left a comment that they can't seem to sell equipment. It's one of the brands I've had the most luck with. Now, some of the items have sold between 25 and 50 for me or all the items have sold kind of in that range for me. And I did, when I first started reselling, I did notice it was a little bit closer to the 50 mark and now it's more close to like the 30, 35 mark. So I, I don't know if it's becoming just more common, but 
I would say their button front silk blouses that they're kind of most known for run in the like 250 ish range in retail. So it is a sought after style brand um, and I've sold a lot of it, but again, I'm just kind of, I try to be realistic with um, what I'm asking for and not ask too much. I actually just sold one that was new, new with tags. And I think that sold for 45 or something. So um, I really like the style. It's a lot of the similar stuff that I would have worn in my career job. This is actually kind of a little different. It's a full zip silk lightweight jacket. And obviously you can see just a really classic plaid print with the green and blue. Uh, this is a size small. And thank you, Heather. <laughs> she sent me a note saying she watches my videos and saw this and has purchased for me before. And that's always helpful when you guys let me know that you, A, are coming from YouTube. It's always nice to see. And also B, it just helps me know that, oh, I really want to, you know, give a good deal to this person and whatnot. So anyways, I think this is absolutely adorable. This is actually going to be shipped off tomorrow. So I'm glad I could get this in this haul, but um, just a kind of a perfect three season jacket in my opinion, but, and it sold for 39. I don't know if I said that. I think I priced a little on the high side because it's kind of in line with the season that we're in, but, um, yeah. And I also really liked it. If it was my size, I would have kept it, <laughs> but it's not. All right. This was uh, kind of a fun pickup. This is Weeda Free and it's, it says, you can see right there, it says vegan leather size medium. This is a vegan leather jacket that definitely has a real leather feel to it. Um, it's also got a, I want to say this is removable, a removable hood. This hood is definitely more of the kind of gray washed out look that's intentional. Uh, but I really like the fact that it's removable because sometimes you don't want the hood, but I think the hood look with, you know, a t-shirt and jeans is really cute. Um, it's just a really classic style in my opinion. So the comps were mixed all over this. Uh, I think I'm expecting, I actually can't remember what I put on this one, but I have some things pulled up right here. So I started this at about 74. I'm kind of expecting, depending on how long it sits, you know, between 50 and 60. Um, just because I think this is just such a universal item, but we'll see. All right. This is a sweater by Isabelle Marant, and this is the Etoile. No one's corrected me that I have said it wrong, so I'm just gonna keep saying it the way that I, that I do not speak French. Uh, so Isabelle Marant, I picked up and sold her items a number of times. She is a designer. The Etoile line is one of her more common lines. This is just a knit sweater, kind of has a space dye look to it. And fairly basic, I can't remember what size this was. I wanna say a size 38, which I think was equivalent to a size small. Anyways, made in Italy, nice little knit sweater, uh, not too heavy, which is really great. And cute little pair of jeans and some boots, I think. All right, I did get two other equipment items. One of them I'm actually exchanging. So Goodwill's in Los Angeles, you can exchange with a receipt. Uh, within a certain per period of time. They actually just changed it from a seven day period to, I wanna say a month or two, uh, partly due to COVID, people just aren't going out as frequently. And that's really helpful because I don't always go out every week to Goodwills. So uh, if I have the receipt and I keep the tag on, I can exchange it, especially if I pay full price, which I did for these. So equipment from, this is a size extra small. I thought they were both brand new because they had kind of this fold to them. This one I listed, this is just a navy blue, just their classic silk button front shirt. Uh, I should be able to get somewhere, you know, 30, 35 for this. This one, when I got it under the light, it did have some spots. So it's also extra small, just a brighter blue. And let's see, what was the, the price was $6.99, which is what our kind of long sleeve tops are. Um, and that's a little steep, but again, I've had decent luck with this brand. And I was kind of thinking I could maybe sell them as a lot together, but there were a couple faint spots down here at the bottom and I'm just gonna exchange it and get that money back. So I'll throw that over there so I don't, I don't forget. All right, this is adorable. This is Mason Scotch, which is part of the Scotch and Soda brand. Uh, this is a kind of a Western funky, button front shirt. So it's kind of this light blue, light blue. it's got some faded 
uh, spots on it, intentional. And let's see. So this top part, it goes all the way around. It has some embroidery, which I think is absolutely adorable. Now I did note that there is some pilling on here and I just, because it's kind of a thin fabric, I just, I'm going to try and sweater shave it just a little bit, but I also don't want to do any more dan like I don't want to do any damage. So I actually just listed it, put some photos of the, the pilling and just noted it. Um, but I think it's adorable. You'd have to get pretty close to notice the pilling. Um, and you know, most people aren't getting that close these days. So anyways, I thought this was absolutely adorable. Just a fun little accent. And, uh, I can't remember. I want to say I started this at 34 or 39. So, you know, I'll probably get somewhere 25 to 30 for that. All right. What else do we have here? So this is a beautiful jacket. It definitely runs small though. So this is Vince, whoops, size 10. And maybe it's a size 10 if you don't have any sort of chest, but I put this on my size six mannequin, um, which is the size that I typically, or the only, the only size mannequin I have. And it fit the size six mannequin. Um, and it was also actually when it was completely buttoned, a little snug. So. I just noted it, you know, it tends to be that certain brands just run a little smaller. And if people like those brands, they know that maybe they have to size up or down, but I still wanted to note it. It's just this beautiful velvet green jacket. And I just think it kind of has a military-esque vibe with the buttons like this. It is kind of that peacoat style. Um, and then there's these buttons on the sleeve, which I absolutely love. So yeah, this is just a great, great piece. Um, and I love the color, <laughs> obviously. So I think I started that at 74. And so I'm expecting somewhere between 50 and 60, depending on how long it sits. All right. I thought this print was absolutely adorable. And I don't know how to pronounce it. It's the, it's the, it's a bug, <laughs> but so this is an anthropology brand called Odile. I don't pick it up all the time, but, but if I like the item, I definitely will. It's just this kind of peasant blouse, lightweight, kind of a shorter style, kind of the flutter sleeves. But the print, is it uh, cicada? Is that how you say it? I've only seen it written. I don't think I've ever heard anyone say the actual word, but um, that's that's the bug on it. <laughs> but it's cute. I thought at first when I looked at it, is it, is it a butterfly? And then I actually looked up some similar items. Now, one person has this listed, I think in a different size, and they're like super rare and I mean, I couldn't find any, um, I couldn't find many, but maybe they weren't actually putting the bug name, which is what I was actually searching by. So anyways, I thought it was cute. It's a cute little spring summer item and uh, I like yellow. And yellow is a good color this season. I think yellow and gray are the colors of the year, if I'm not mistaken. All right, this is a pair of shorts by one teaspoon. And what I like about their tags is they always have the style name on the back tag. So this is, the style is the Super Freaks. And it's kind of got the drop crotch lace up shorts and uh, just casual and comfortable. Kind of has some stretch a little bit. So anyways, uh, with this, it's a pretty tiny size. Yeah, size 24. So, but spring and summer, I feel like, a lot of us are just going to be living outside trying to get that vitamin D. All right. This one I wasn't sure if I was going to get, but it was on sale. And uh, if I remember correctly, yeah, this is an extra, extra small. Madewell extra, extra small has done pretty well for me. Um, this is an oversized style, so this could probably work for an extra small or small if you didn't want it so oversized. But um, any any time that it's larger sizes or super small sizes, Sometimes that's hard for people to find in-store or online. And so, yeah, sometimes I do factor in the size if I'm not really, if I'm on the fence of bought a certain item, but made well, I typically only will pay a dollar or two. Um, but this is kind of just a nice gray basic. I think this is the boyfriend oversized shirt or something like that. Uh, nothing too special, but I like grays. I like basics and I like the size because I think it's, yeah, it's done well for me. And with something like that, the, I'm just gonna call it the bug shirt. The bug shirt, I'm probably only gonna get, you know, 18 to 20. The Madewell shirt, probably, you know, 15 to 18. But, all right, 
This I absolutely love. The color, the style. This is another anthropology uh, brand, which is Pilcro in the Letterpress. This color, oh man, and this color, this is kind of the Mandarin color. Um, just absolutely love it. But it kind of it kind of gives me lag and look vibes or um, like Bryn Walker vibes, just the simplicity um, or cut loose vibes, some of those, some of those types of brands. But yeah, I just think the color, the style, it's a good three season piece. You could put this with some shorts for the summer, roll up the sleeves a little bit, um, or obviously spring and fall with a pair of jeans and boots. But I did get an offer on this. I want to say it was pretty low. I started this high just because I think it's so on, on trend, but, um, and I think it's a linen blend if I'm not mistaken. So anyways, it's always easier to bring down prices than raise prices. And sometimes I just take the chance on that. All right. This is a new with tags made well size large. Uh, this kind of had a retro vibe. So here's the tag. Uh, the thing I love about Madewell, even though I don't like to spend too much on it because it doesn't resell for very much for me, is the style number is in it and you can quickly type that in with Madewell and it pops up the exact style. So this is just an adorable turtleneck. The stripes and the colors just kind of have that, you know, roller skating, <laughs> I don't know, vibe. But it's kind of a very thin rib and stretchy and comfortable and cute. So. Uh, with this, I'll probably get around 25 because it's new with tags. <clears throat> man, oh man. <laughs> I think it's a little too early in the day for me to be drinking wine, but pass me the wine. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Wild Fox, you know, depending on the graphic and the print, I did start this one a little high because I didn't see too many of them with this graphic. Um, and I think it's just the color. If you're a red wine drinker and you have this with your glass of red, a pair of jeans and some, you know, slippers, <laughs> I just feel like it's so perfect for COVID because, you know, what else are we all doing? So wild box, size small and super soft, which is great. I think with this one, I started a little high, but I'm probably expecting 35 to 40, depending on how long it sits. All right, so I definitely don't pick up a lot of Lucky anymore. And I used to pick it up pretty religiously when I was a new reseller. Uh, and it sold well for me. I know some people are critical of it because it's pretty common. And some of the stuff doesn't sell for very much. Like I found the, find the blou blouses almost every single time I go to the thrift store. And I won't pick those up. But size and style, it is still a pretty, it's like a mid-range brand. So some of their stuff is selling for over 100 you know, close to $200. And uh, there are fans of it. So this one I picked up for style and size. It's a size 2X, Lucky Brand. And it's a long cardigan with this really cute little Aztec print. It's got the sleeves that are kind of more the space dye. And it's just the waterfall, it's longer. It's like perfect, it's waterfall front. And then it's longer in the back. So, you know, it'll cover if you're wearing leggings or your tush, but I really liked it. Um, so yeah, so I think I started this around, one, I wanna say 39, so I'm expecting probably around that 30 mark, but it's just a great piece, especially spring and fall, just cause it's warm, but not too warm, you know? So, all right. This brand I picked up before, and I'm not sure if I've actually sold it yet or if it's still just listed, but it's NSF. This is, it says P, um, if you ever see P, especially on a lot of designer items, it doesn't mean petite. Now it does, If it, yeah, it does sometimes. If it's like this, you can see it says P-S-M-L. So petite, or sorry, P, in this case does not mean petite, it means extra small. And I discovered that with a lot of high-end designers, if it says P, it's extra small, not petite. Um, but yeah, so I think the first time I found something with a P, I put it under petites and then I found something else and saw the size guide and was like, oh, it's kind of somewhat, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> NSF, uh, t-shirts like this were actually in the 20 range. This is a very lightweight striped tee. It's got the little front pocket, kind of basic. It has a little bit of the inside outlook. If you can see the stitching um, or on this front pocket, kind of looks a little inside out. So fairly basic, but I do like their kind of trendy stuff. 
So that was only a couple dollars and um, I think there's already a watcher on it. And I think I started at 29, so we'll see. Easy to photograph. Only a couple more items. This one, honestly, if it doesn't sell, I'll just keep it. It's just, it's absolutely adorable. It doesn't go with this turtleneck that I'm wearing right now, but I love throwing these types of things on a basic t-shirt because it just kind of adds a little boho flair. Um, it's lightweight, so it's not like a, you can wear it in the summer, but it's just kind of a cropped sweater and it's just got those really, oh man, you know, oversized sleeves that are just comfy and casual. Anthropology, Sparrow, it's a size medium, large. Love the color, <laughs> really tempting to keep this, but I'm trying not to keep everything. <laughs> so anyways, I think I'm probably gonna get around $20 for that. All right, this one was on sale, so I decided to pick it up, but it is fairly basic. It is Free People Beach, which I rarely find. Uh, and this is a one size fits most. I liked the turtleneck. I also just really like gray, so it's a weakness. Um, but you can see it's a really oversized turtleneck. It's just a very lightweight sweater. And then on the back, it has this kind of two-toned um, or color blocking. So the comps for something like this is probably only in that 15 to 20 range. I did start a little bit high just because I think it's a great spring sweater. It's also a great <laughs> beach sweater because the beach, especially in California, it gets a little chilly at night. So, you know, you toss this in your bag, you put this over your tank top with your shorts, super cute and um, kind of just a perfect weight for spring, summer, fall. So, all right, last item. This is Adriana Goldschmied. You can see the AG right there. Now, this was actually in the button down shirt section, uh, but it's actually a lightweight jacket. And the tag right here actually says it's the Gigi jacket. So they it wasn't priced. I think our jackets usually start around $9.99. This was priced $6.99, and then it was, I think, 25% off. But to be honest, it's just a really great, very, very lightweight, almost chambray, but it's just a light lightweight denim jacket. And this is just such a great thing to throw on throughout the year when you need a, an extra layer. So with this one, I'm probably expecting uh, 30, 25 to 30. So anyways, that's my stuff. That's my haul. Uh, be sure to give the thumbs up or hit the thumbs up before you leave. And good news, my next haul, which will be hopefully out soon, is actually a Goodwill Bins haul. I went to the Goodwill Bins for the first time in 13 months. I hadn't been since uh, early December of 2019 before COVID. And I went for the first time. They definitely have some different rules and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that video. Next up, uh, I found a few things and I had an interesting experience that I thought I would share. So anyways, I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye.